CBC News revamps, and makes leftists and communists proud. MGDOW Minute So on November 6, Canada's publicly funded national broadcaster, CBC, launched their revamped nightly news. The previous anchor, believe it or not, was an old white guy who ran the show for 29 years. So, if you are the leftist CBC what do you do? Why you replace the previous anchor with the most politically correct person possible, of course. But what if there is no heir apparent who checks off all the boxes? Why you select more than one, and in true socialist fashion, make the single anchor job into several jobs. Enter the new four-person anchor team. Kinda like a Canadian version of the Avengers, but not as exciting. Perhaps they were going for the four horsemen theme that worked quite well in wrestling. Or perhaps all four hosts will be able to join up to form one giant Voltron. Anyhow, the following is what I speculate is how the selection process for these four anchors went down. Should we have three or four hosts? Gotta be four, that way we can have gender balance. Brilliant. Okay we need a woman, who is not a hottie. Well, we could pick a white woman but she'll have to be a feminist. Okay, Rosemary it is. And she's a bit heavy so that covers the fat acceptance crowd. But the other woman cannot be a hottie either. How about someone older for the second female? Yeah, Adrienne is a perfect fit. After all 50 is the new 29. She's very private and unmarried, so she might also appeal to lesbians and trans. So now we need two men. Definitely not white. Definitely not. No points with that choice. Say how about that Asian anchor from Montreal? Chang. Yeah. That leaves just one more male space to fill. I like Chang, but I think we need someone darker. A choice that will respect our principle of diversity is our strength. Ian Hannah Mansing. Of course. Long live virtuous CBC. Long live virtuous CBC. So there you have it, our diverse politically correct, fatal four-way anchors. What I find humorously ironic is this. They essentially gave me the message that what one white guy accomplished can only be replaced by two women and two minorities. LOL. At the risk of going full retard, and to show CBC how it's really done, here is the most politically correct choices I would have made if I worked at CBC. My first news anchor, a militant obnoxious feminist. Big Red from Toronto, she'd cover all news that paints men in a bad light. The second anchor, a random black feminist, she'd cover all police shootings, and all news related to Denzel Washington. The third anchor, would be a transsexual. It would cover all gay pride parade news, and LGBTQ, issues. The fourth anchor, would be a Sharia, law-loving Muslim woman. She'd get approximately half the air time. Since the majority of news stories in Canada are anti-Trump, please comment on my selections, and let me know if I left out any victim group.